Hello guys, welcome back to a new PCO Battle Styles video. Today, guys, we're looking at a really cool Gengar Dragapult VMAX deck. I've looked at this deck multiple times before, but we are going to be visiting the deck today. The whole idea is you use Gengar's ability, Life Shaker, to, as often as you like, uh, move one damage counter off one of your Psychic Pokemon to another one of your Psychic Pokemon. So, the idea with this deck is you establish multiple Dragapults, and then you can take 310, up to 310 damage off, or however many damage you take for the turn. You move it to something else. You can heal it with scoop up net or you can now Cheryl it which is why i want to do another video on this deck because cheryl gives the deck a big buff allowing you to fully heal all your evolution pokemon you put damage on your dragapult on the active to another dragapult on the bench or gengar as long as they don't have energy on them you get a lot of value out of just cheryl and heal all the damage your opponent did so that is the idea of this deck i think this gengar dragapult deck got a massive buff with cheryl it might even get a bigger buff when far crystal releases with uh, chilling rain so yeah before you the video guys of course share too the sponsor car cabin tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pdcgo pan codes get them over car cabin car cabin sells codes online for the cheapest so if you guys let to pick up any set codes like battle styles shiny fates Vivid Voltage, Sword Shield Base Set, or any other codes. Maybe you want to get the new Galarian Rapidash V. Um, you can get them over at Car Cabin. Of course, you're getting codes over at Car Cabin. At the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Car Cabin. So, big shout out to Car Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF to get any codes. Also, if you want to check out the video articles I've been posting over there, make sure to go give them a watch. There is going to be, it might, by the time it's uploaded, it might be out, but there will be a Chilling Rain VMAX article video coming out uh, next. So, keep an eye out for that. So this is the list I'm playing here for the deck, Gengar with Dragapult. Again, get multiple Dragapults in play. Have one on the bench as like a dummy Pokemon to put the damage on as a sponge. You know, if your opponent doesn't boss it, then that Dragapult is safe, and then your active is fully healed. Then Cheryl all the damage off. We can play Mewtwo in the deck, which is another partner for Gengar, but also can put Cheryl back with Scoop Up Net and heal. So there's a bit of synergy between going Mewtwo, heal, Scoop Up Net, put Cheryl back, so you have another Cheryl to work with. So a bit of synergy there with Mewtwo. Mimikyu to stop uh, Mewtwo. Um, maybe keep some YouTube, yeah. <laughs> then we got Mew, just yeah, a lot of sick Pokemon now. I'm not playing too many draw cards, I'm only playing one Crobat. The reason is we don't want to clunk our bench up too much. Like a lot of the time, we have to have multiple drag or multiple Gengars, multiple Dragapults. You know, we might have a bench spot open for Mewtwo, we might have to play Mew down in case of like a Urshifu matchup. So, a lot of the time, we just don't have the bench space for too many draw cards. Like, we don't really want to be having a Dedene and a Crobat in play, especially because that's another way your opponent can beat you as well. I'm not gonna hit the active because you know. You'll just move the damage with Gengar. So I'll just boss one of your Crobat or Dedenes and KO them instead. And there you go. So yeah, we can't really play too many draw cards in the deck. Um, I'm playing Research Marnie, two Cheryl. Free Research because a lot of the time we don't want to research away important resources. Uh, especially because Cheryl. But I am playing Sinlin as another draw card. Just draw some cards. The problem with Gengar is this stage two. So we have to play Rare Candy to get into play. Um, there's this Ghastly here with Swelling Spite. If it's knocked out, you can search your, search your deck for up to two Haunters. The reason why we're just playing one is because it has 4 HP. There's a Ghastly with 6 HP, which does help you a lot more when you're trying to move damage around with Gengar. It gives you uh, 20 more damage to move around, or 10, yeah, 20 more damage to move around instead of playing the 4 HP one. Still gets you a Haunter, though, which puts you one step closer to getting Gengar in play. Um, that's the list. Uh, really, yeah, just straightforward stuff. Evil Wind Sense, Calm, Quick Ball, Candy, 3 Scoop of Net for, like, Mewtwo and stuff like that. 10 energy for Dragapult. That's the list. Let's go try it out and uh, have some fun with it. Okay, here we go. Uh, Tails, one time. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Chill out, game. We get to go first here, which is good. We'll see what we're playing against here and how we start. All right, we got Dragapult Energy. We have a Kaelin Cynthia. Not the ideal supporter, but we'll have to make it work. We do have... Um, I mean, yeah, not, not the most amazing hand. We have to rely on a drawing three cards here, but... Uh, okay, they're playing Mewtwo, and it looks like we do draw into a Crobat, so we've been gifted... A second chance. Um, we'll bench Mew. Uh, we could do Crobat this turn. I gotta imagine they're playing... I don't know what kind of Mewtwo deck this will be. Not gonna lie. Um, I actually don't know what the play here is. We have a... Hopefully Mimikyu's in the deck. Mimikyu being in the deck is gonna be really important to winning this game for sure. I do want to try to get Ghastly down, but I don't want to Crobat for two. I think I'm just gonna pass, and we might get marnie right? So... Yeah, I don't really want to play Crobat. I don't want to draw two cards. If they are playing uh, Gengar Mimikyu, we could also get Horror House and, like, KO. So, I don't know. I'm just going to play it safe. It could be a Welder Mewtwo deck, I guess. That's maybe what it is. It's Welder Mewtwo. It is why I benched the Mew. Oh, no, they're playing Pika. Okay, they are playing Pika. Maybe this is, like, Lightning Box. Yes, it's Pika. Okay. We can beat Pika. Maybe. We just need to get a better hand. <laughs> we need to find a Ghastly. Hopefully we can get started doing Max Phantom next turn. That's going to be very important. So there's a switch. 
All right, we'll see what they got in their hand. Do they have a Dedene? I got to imagine they do, because they could have Cherish Balled for it, so they probably have a Supporter. Viridian. Ooh, okay, that actually helps a lot. We can use that. Uh, We can put... Okay, yeah, this is great. We can use Viridian to get energy, draw more cards. Okay, all right, nice. I'm glad my opponent played that. Now they have a Mewtwo in play, too, which is good. So, like, we can knock out Pika, which will take two attacks, and we just knock out Mewtwo to win the game. All right, match a second Pika. Do they have a... I got Again, they got to have a Supporter in their hand, right? Or, yeah, they got Dedene. I don't think they're going to be full Blitz to me this turn, especially, I think, eh, maybe. We'll see. If they do get up off a of full Blitz this turn, we could be in a lot of trouble. Because then we, we can't go VMAX if they do that. That could be bad. Good thing we have Mew in play, though. That's if they get full Blitz. The chances are still slim, but we'll see. Yeah, they're going to get Dedene here. They have a Switch in their hand. We know that much. They have Switch into Dedene. Let's see if they have any energy in their hand for Coco. That could be bad. I almost don't really want to get Marnie now. I mean, our hand is just... We're in a good spot next to that Viridian. Okay, they are going to switch. They actually give me the Pika. Hmm. So my opponent's ballsy here. Oh my god. Are you, they had the perfect hand. Well, they have to find double E-switch here to uh, attack me, which is super unlikely. And if they don't get another switch or anything, we can punish this by just getting the 130 damage on the Pika now. And then it just at that point will come down to a boss. Well, that's if we can find Dragapult VMAX and stuff, which, you know, we could whiff, but we'll see. We're drawing a few cards here with Crobat. We have Sinlin. Just pray they don't get a double E-switch off. That would be amazing. A double E-switch would be uh, terrifying. Especially because we don't... Have, if we had Gengar, I wouldn't mind that because we can, again, move all the damage off and kind of go from there. But we don't have Gengar in play. So them getting a turn one full blitz would be very scary. Please go easy on me, Mr. Tag Team GX. Please go easy. Okay, good. Um, Ooh, quick ball. Now right, we'll get rid of boss. Grab a ghastly. We have two in the deck. We have our Mimikyu though. Having I mean, Mimikyu is good. Um Tough decision. I'm just gonna crow bad. There's nothing to give Viridian away. I guess Gengar would have been good, I guess. We didn't get the Dragable VMAX. Got the Sinlin again. Get rid of boss again. Get boss back. Here we go. Will we find the VMAX? We do. The skin of our teeth. Grab that bad boy. Um, we'll quick ball away the boss. Like, I don't want to, maybe I should have held that, but I'm going to get another Dragapult. We want to make sure we get more Dragapults in play. We have Mewtwo, so I'm not really worried about not having boss's orders in this game. Let's hit them here. You can put one on Mewtwo so we can get KO'd. And let's put the rest on the Pika Ron on the bench. Put one on there, right? And then we get Mimikyu that can't attack. If they can't, then like this way, it has 260 HP, so a boss can KO it. I guess we could have quick followed away the Gengar and kept the boss. I, I, I might I might regret that. We'll see. We can draw rare candy though. We I mean we have Mewtwo also. I'm not that's why I'm not worried about dumping my boss, because we have Mewtwo anyways. Um I do want to try to get Gengar in play next turn. That's if they can attack me though. That's if they attack me. I mean, even if they attack me with this, with this Pika, it's gonna get knocked out. They have 110 HP. They, even if they put a big charm on to go 140, they're gonna take the horror house damage. Unless they play a crushing hammer, which. And they probably do play Hammer, right? Most Pika decks do. They're going to boss here. Probably going to KO my... Oh, they go for Mew. I thought they were going to target Ghastly. Losing Mew, it's not... I mean, that does leave us susceptible to a Tag Bolt. Okay, they don't do anything. Oh, there's Mewtwo back. It's going to hard retreat. Marnie, I guess. Probably could have benched Mewtwo. Put Sinlin on top or something. Oh, look at that. We got Rare Candy Gengar. And we got Mimikyu. And Dragapult. I don't know if I want to put the Mimikyu in play, though, just yet. I'm just going to retreat here. Put a rare candy into the Gengar. I kind of wish we got a second Ghastly. They still have that boss, but we are just going to KO them here. We'll just put all the damage on the other Pika and just leave that thing as heavily damaged as we can. Now it has 150 HP. So if they attack me, they just get knocked out. They go Mewtwo, they get knocked out. So we pretty much checkmate them. We don't even need Gengar. because My opponent never was able to attack me. Um... You know, they do get an attack off this turn. We're just going to move all that damage with Gengar. We have Scoop Up Net. Uh, so we can heal 100 off with Mew. Or no, we can we can do more with Mimikyu. We can bench Mimikyu. Heal 120 of the damage they do. And then we'll have 30 damage. We can just put the 30 damage on like, the Dragapult. So I think we've checkmated them. They have to like... They have to somehow pull off like a Raichu Raichu play to really put the pressure on me this turn. Like, they have to do something. And currently, they don't have much they can do. Right, my opponent's just kind of stuck right now. 
Like, they can't attack with Mewtwo, unless they have a big charm, but even then, we have horror energies. Like, I've checkmated them, pretty much. I think I've checkmated them. They could get double crushing hammerhead. That's the only thing I can think of. They can get, like, a double hammerhead to remove all my energy, so I can't attack next turn. That's, like, their only way to stop me. We'll see, though. But yeah, if they attack me, we take all that damage with Gengar, move it off. We have Scoop Up Net to heal some of the damage. I mean, they have the Viridian play we can play. We can take advantage of that. Um, okay, Mal okay, Malana does help them out. That will let them heal the Pika Rom, so now we can't knock it out next turn. It's like, even if they do, it's like, we're, we're, we're negating all that damage they're gonna try to do to me anyways. Um, are they really gonna go Mewtwo? That's not gonna survive a hit, unless they have a Jirachi in their deck. Or they have Jirachi, we just go Max Phantom on the Jirachi and the Benjamin Mimikyu. They are going Mewtwo. I don't know if my opponent realizes they, that doesn't work. Okay, yeah, there's the hammer. Okay, they did play the Crushing Hammer. They get Tails anyways. They have to still find... I think they got two more hammerheads here to stop me. Or like hammer Yelgrin. Ooh, okay, and that's game over. Yeah. Unless they have a they have to go big charm crushing hammer with my horror energy to stop me from winning. Big charm crushing hammerheads will stop them from uh stop them from losing. But yeah, even if we weren't winning this turn, we can just we're all that damage they're gonna do to us is completely negated anyways. Unless they have a tandem shock play. I guess that could work. And they might have it. They do play a quick ball. They could get Raichu and Benchip, then they're in top deck mode, so I think they're going to go Dedenne or Crobat. I mean, they need, they need quite a bit here to stop me from winning. It's going to be very unlikely they can stop me. And again, even if they do somehow prevent me from winning, we're moving all that damage off of Gengar anyways, and maybe we can draw into a Cheryl. We can, like, Gengar the damage on the bench dragon pull and then Cheryl all the damage off. That could be pretty big. Like, we're, we're in a pretty good spot right now, I want to say. Never mind. That's, crap. that's not even a... That, yeah, that's game... That's not going to do anything. And that is game over. They can full blitz. Let me just max phantom for game. Yeah, their only way to stop me was to try to remove my energy or like get a big charm or something. But that's game over. That is game over. Plus we heal all the damage. We're, move wait, we're taking all that damage off anyway. We're not going to do that. Um, I know it's like, oh, you're not using the anger in the video. Well, I'm winning the game. I'm not going to remove the damage off. But if we weren't winning here, I could heal. I could take all the damage off my active. Um, I could heal 120 damage with Scoop Up Net Mimikyu. Um, then we'd have the Mimikyu in play for the when we rebench it with the damage on us that this Mewtwo wouldn't even be able to attack me, even if they could attack me. So it's like they can't do anything. They can like build up Coco, but like yeah, it's a little too late for that to matter. Wish we got to use Gengar here, but sometimes the hand of fate just says, hey, you don't need to use Gengar. You can just attack and win the game. And that's sometimes what happens when you make videos like this. It, it just happens where you can't use the Gengar. But we were going to use it if we weren't running there. And we were going to heal. 120 damage off the Dragapult and take the 30 damage off. So, like, Dragapult would have just been fresh with Gengar, so it wouldn't have mattered, but we got it. Okay, here we go into another match with Dragapult here with Gengar. We won the coin flip again, which is great. Definitely good to go first with this deck. We'll see what we're playing against again. Maybe another Mewtwo deck. All right. Uh, hmm. I'll open with Mew. We have the turn to Gengar. So, I think we'll we'll, we'll see what we draw. We'll see. Um, best top deck would be a Gengar, a draw supporter, or a thing. Oh, we're playing against... Okay, it is a Mewtwo deck again. It looks like it's Mewtwo, but they have Phoebe. I don't... Is it like... It looks like it might be a Mewtwo or Shifu. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, they're using two Pokemon that are probably going to be just Psychic. Well, it could be a Dragapult deck. Well, they have Tag Call. No one's going to play Tag Call in a Dragapult or Shifu deck. Okay, perfect. So we can go Bench Ghastly. Well, Quick Ball Way and Energy pretty much is banking on my opponent not playing Crushing Hammer, but we'll grab the Dragapult. Bench it. Attach and pray we don't get Marnie because we have the turn two Gengar. I don't know about turn two Dragapult though. We'll see. Maybe if you draw a Pokemon or a Gengar, that'd be great. But you open with an Eevee Lax. That can do a lot of damage. You can do 240 damage, which is a lot to my Dragapult. But a lot is never going to work when we can take all that damage they do to us and just put it to the bench. And yep, there goes my perfect hand. Gone and gone with a Marnie. Through you, Marnie. Why you got to take away my hand? All right, here we go. What are we looking at? An unplayable mess, as expected, of course. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? We were going to draw a Pokemon, too, for the calm. Man, that sucks. Okay, we're... <laughs> We've been given a second chance. Maybe we should have went side power, to be honest. Hopefully Crobat's not prized. Good thing it's not. All right, Marnie. Y'all, you almost got me there, Marnie. All right, let's see. Gengar supporter. Let's go. All right. Nice. Grab Gengar. Maybe we can attack this turn. It's unlikely, but you never know. We need an Air Balloon VMAX. I want to get another Ghastly down. We will, at this point, we want another Dragapult, another Ghastly in play. 
Okay, well, we got Dragapult. No switching cards. So we aren't able to attack this turn. Fine. You know what? I'm actually going to use this next turn to grab another Gengar. I was going to grab Dragapult there, but... I mean, I feel... I mean, we have four Dragapult in the deck. I feel confident a Marnie will get us a Dragapult, you know? I'm actually going to save the Evil Incense to grab another Gengar so we can get double Gengar in play. So if one Gengar goes down, we have a second one to work with. I kind of like that a little bit more. And hopefully we don't get Marnie again. <laughs> that would be great. We need to get Mimikyu down too. No, bro, with the Marnies, bro. Relax with the Marnies. My goodness. Now I wish I got Dragapult, but... What can you do? Okay, we got a net. All right, nice. Yeah, that Mewtwo's ready to go. At the net. We have to bench... We do have to bench me in this matchup because of Naganadel. We ever pile up six horror energy on this? It's a meme. There's nowhere else to put the energy, honestly. I think we do just put energy on the active. I don't know if they play hammer or not. So we're going to lose our Mewtwo, which kind of sucks, but... And you do. All right, nice. Okay, we got Mimikyu. We got Haunter. That's huge. Those are some of the cards I was looking for. Uh, uh We can't bench another Dragapult right now. It's fine. We have to bench Mimikyu. I mean, they can miraculous duo me, but that's not going to knock me out, right? As long as they can't kill me, it's fine. I am scared of Incineroar, though. They go Hood, Incineroar. That could be punishing. We actually need to get a scoop up net or something. We have to take off one of these Pokemon off the bench so we can bench another Dragapult. That's going to be a big thing we got to work on right now. There's an E-Switch. Yeah, they're probably going to go miraculous duo and heal 200 damage, which is fine. We're going to move that damage off of Life Shaker. They play a Phoebe and pass. What a great play for my opponent, Keck W. 10 out of 10 play would recommend. Do this. We could Sinlin for supporter, I guess. Or Cheryl's really what I want to find right now. Get research back. No, nah, we'll get Marnie. Sure. See, we get Cheryl. No, we got boss for next turn, though. So what is Max Phantom again? So close to KOing them, but we can put 50 more damage on Mewtwo. I don't know if they have Incineroar or not. That's what I'm scared of. They need to get a switching card, an Incineroar, and a Hood to knock me out. They can Miraculous Duo and move, take off all that damage I just did. Now, that's a bit of an issue. They can do Miraculous Duo here and reset the damage I just did to them. There's Jirachi. Okay, so we have to put 10 damage on Jirachi with Dragapult next. Oh, they're going all in. Well, we can't do much. We can hit Jirachi for 130. Knock out Eevee Lax. Sure. Yeah, hit Jirachi from 30. Take out the Eevee Lax. Now just put all the damage on the Mewtwo again. Mewtwo can die to a Max Phantom. All right, let's see what our prize is. Balloon's pretty good. And energy. And Cheryl. There we go. We got a Cheryl. So we can put the damage on the Gengars and fully heal them with Cheryl. We'll see if my opponent's got anything. I have an energy. Okay, they are going to Marakos duel me here, right? They, ha they, they have to. Yeah, they have to. Okay. That's fine. You can't hit them for weakness. They take a lot of damage. We can't win this turn, but what we can do, we can go Life Shaker. We could put 100, we can heal all that damage they did to us by putting 100 damage on each Gengar here and then Sherling the damage off. We can't leave any damage on our active Dragapult because if we Sheryl, we will remove all the energy from it, which would be really bad. So we are not gonna do that. So we're just gonna put 100 damage on both Gengars here and then we will just attack them again and just say, hey, you hit me for 200, you still can't attack as Mimikyu. You have to find a hood this turn. And if they don't find it, rip the opponent. This is going to take a while to move all this damage. Hopefully my opponent doesn't concede the game. But as you can see, we are using Gengar in action in this video. So there we go. I'm glad we get to use some Gengar action here. I was kind of worried we weren't going to be able to, but we are able to in this match specifically. Let's just keep moving all that damage. Very slow. They need to do something about these, like, moving damage animations. Oh my god, they take way too long. Dusnor and... Gengar, um, and Reuniclus, bro. Mm. Ten hours later. Cue that SpongeBob quote. So here we go. Cher will heal all that damage. And just... Max and they scoop the game. I mean, it's just as simple as that. You can't KO my Dragapult. It's just not gonna happen. Dragapult's just unkillable. Okay, let's get into another match with uh, Gengar, Dragapult here. Maybe one last game. We'll see. We do lose the coin flip this time, so we are gonna most likely be going second, right? Let's see. See, my opponent's gonna make me go first or second. Okay, we get to go first. Very generous, my opponent. And okay, this hand is 
It's interesting. Now, it's not good, but it is interesting. We got a lot of stuff. And to be fair, even if we don't get energy down, we can just maybe take a couple hits and then Cheryl the damage off. I guess that's one thing we can attempt to do if we don't get an energy or a supporter or a calm or a quick buff or a crowbat if it's in the deck. We'll see. I wouldn't mind me playing another Dedenne or crowbat in the deck, but the problem with that is they eat up end space, which you can't put damage on them, so they're not very good. Um, plus, we have Mewtwo, so like we already have Mewtwo and three Scuba Net for supporter recovery. I don't know. Um, there's not much else you can really add to the deck and draw. You just have to rely on this game not giving you bad hands, but look at that. We do get the crowbat play. We got to go for the hand. We got to go for the energy here. So we have to play this and hopefully Crobat's not prize. Thank you. We got to hope to get energy. We have one prize I saw there. So here we go. Energy, no energy. But we have the Gengar. So it's all good. We have Gengar. We can take a hit or two while we try to get energy in play. And then we can just move it with Gengar. So that's pretty good. Not too bad at all. We'll see what my opponent does here. They could Marnie me, which would suck, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. And now having Crowbat plays back, so it looks like we might be up against ADP. Uh, no, oh, it might be Luke Metal. Do I have a Lucario coin? Is it Luke Metal, bro? Is it going to be Corviknight Bronzong, maybe? Probably rather that than Luke Metal, bro. Yeah, is it going to be Luke Metal? Let's see. Yeah, okay, I was right. It is Corviknight. All right, good. Whew. I don't like playing against Luke Metal, man. That deck is no fun to play against. It's almost as bad as ADP. Um... What could they do? Probably Intrepid Sword, right? Oh, they're going to switch. I guess it doesn't really matter. But I guess now it's harder for that. Well, they can go overnight VMAX Evolve. Okay, no, got no energy. Nice. And we can Marnie them. Let's see we top deck. Okay, our other Cheryl, which is going to the bottom of the deck, which feels a little bad. Clutch could be annoying. We don't have a way to... We don't have any switch in the deck, so I guess Clutch could be a problem. We did prize a Gengar, too. I'm not a fan of putting the Cheryls at the bottom of the deck, but... Thank you, Marnie. AKA, it should have been Cynthia. All right, what are we looking at here? There's the energy. Nice. No follow-up supporter, though. Not good. Bench Ghastly. Hopefully, we get Marnie. Yeah, we didn't get a follow-up supporter. We can shred for 60, though. This could be a bit of a Cheryl war, to be honest with you. Both of us will be playing heavy Cherils. My point hasn't gone to Bronzong to play. Now, the nice thing is, they are playing the 50 HP Bronzong. That evolves on their first turn. They can't do that anymore, because it's not their first turn. And that Bronzong get de destroyed by Max Phantom. That's one thing we have. So I'm hoping we can do that. To be honest, if we don't draw a support or anything in, or an energy, I might just boss up a Bronze Orb like, and knock it out with Shred. You know? Oh, Luke Metal. Okay, that's a bit of an issue, too. They can remove my energy. Ooh, Metal Goggles. That's even worse. Now we do less damage. And we can't damage this on the bench with Max Phantom. All right, this is going to be a bit of an uphill battle. At least we got the Gengar established right away. But we now need to... Uh, we, you know, we need, to, we need to play cards from our deck, aka supporters and energy. Okay. No bronze or yet. They get energy on. We're still not drawing anything we need. I'm going to have to boss the Luke Metal here and hope it stays trapped. I can't really do much else. We just have a bad hand. We're in complete top deck mode, which is not good. We're just going to have to shred them here. They might full metal wall me. I'm hoping they just do full metal wall without the discard effect. That's what I'm hoping they do. I hope we can get a supporter soon, man. I'm just not... Not it, Chief. This is not it, Chief. We really want to get a supporter here. Like, or they could Marnie me. That would be appreciated. Yeah, there's the Bronze Ore. There it is. We can try to max Phantom it if we can draw an energy here. We need to knock that out. No Marnie for my opponent. They didn't have one anyways, but yeah. Now we're even in more of a worse spot. Saucer... Do they have the Brave Blade? They're down one switch. They haven't played a boss yet. Yeah, this is really bad, guys. This is really bad. We just are struggling to get a supporter. All right, hopefully they just do Fulmin a Wall here. Yeah, they're saving it. That's what I was worried about. Okay, what do we draw? Supporter? That ain't a supporter. So we have to hit him again for a whopping 40 damage. Oh, boy. Supporters, where you at? Where you at, supporters? Where you at? Where you at? Energy supporter would all been would have been good. Touch energy is risky though, because full metal wall. It is good we have Gengar in play. Gengar might be saving us, but not by much though. It's not doing too much. That's the issue. Gengar is not doing too much for us right now, especially because we can't find a supporter to save our lives. 
There we go. We got Marnie. If we have a second chance, you'll love to see it. This should be good. Now, I wonder if they're going to full metal wall me here. They probably will, right? Okay, there's Honor. That's a really good hand, actually. We have another Dragapult we can play. We can try to get more Dragapults in play. We have, what? We'll have three VMAXs for all the damage we can move. That's pretty good. I mean, I do want to bench Mewtwo, though. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, they got the Bronzong rip. They bench Mew. That might have been a mistake. That could be an easy uh, knockout for Max Phantom. That could help our prize trade a little bit. Yeah, okay. Now they're going to full metal. That's fine. No damage, so we're chilling. Can do this. Can do this. Can do this. Honestly, maybe could have quick balled for the other Dragapult, but I don't know. It's fine. There we go. Another V Max is good. And we're just going to shred him for, I think, what, 20 damage or something? 10 damage, something like that. Okay, no, four. I go to effect. Never mind. They have 140 HP left, so we're getting close to KOing them. We had a horror energy on. They attacked me here. We could have knocked them out. Now, do we have to move the damage off? I don't think we have to move the damage off this turn. I don't think my opponent's threatening me with anything. I'll probably Sinlin again. I might. I do like Marnie, but I think I'm going to Sinlin and get Boss back. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm probably going to go Sinlin here. I want to try to get Cheryl if I can. That's the big thing. I want to be working towards a Cheryl at this point. That's what now we're working towards getting a Cheryl. Really glad my opponent Marnie me there. Just being back in the game feels really good. <laughs> Ooh, a third research is down. I guess I can get one back. Never mind, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see if they can swing into me here with... I guess they can hit me for 150 with Luke Metal. It's not terrible. But then we can take that 150 damage and put it on the Dragapult. We have to actually spread it out so we don't get killed by Brave Blade. Let's see if they hit me. They're probably going to go with them. They probably will heavy impact me, right? They're probably going to go heavy impact. No, they're going to retreat. Giving up all three energy. They're going to go Corviknight instead. Hmm. Interesting. Hopefully they don't get a goggles on the Luke Metal because that's close to getting KO'd. I'm not going to... I can't really max Phantom Bronzong anymore because of Cheryl. So we just have to hit the basic Pokemon that can't get healed. Speaking of can't get healed, we can't get healed either. No, they can't do G-Max. They have to go into Zacian next turn. So we probably just hit Zacian here for 50. I think go Zacian or Luke Metal, I guess. I think we always hit Zacian. If they have the whore energy on, they'll take the damage. Now we got to move 200 for damage off. Here we go. So we go attach. Do this. Oh, we don't have another Dragapult in the deck. Two or prize. Okay, that's a little awkward. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I'm fine with doing Sinlin. I mean, they have a research in their hand, though. Maybe we should just Marty them, because they have a research in their hand. Yeah, Marty probably been better. I think I do want boss back. We did get scoop up net, and actually, I might play that. We have another rare candy. I think we can actually scoop up net our Gengar here. Then we can rebench it. We have a rare candy in our hand. So I'm actually going to net the Gengar. Oh, no, this is the Haunter. You should net this Gengar then. Okay, okay. No, not the other Gengar. They have a research in their hand too, so we're probably not going to get Marnied either. So we can guarantee the Gengar again. Okay, cool. We could knock out Gengar and then I uh, knock it. Yeah, that's stupid. Then they can go, well, go Dragapult Corbat win. Let's put 100 here. We'll leave both Gengars heavily damaged. I mean, there's just so much Pokemon we can move the damage. We can so much things we can move the damage to. It's actually insane. Now, I'm scared of a Cheryl though in a couple turns. This Corviknight is going to take a long time to KO. So. Yeah, Cheryl would be bad for my opponent, but we need to work towards our own Cheryl. Especially if we can get another Dragapult VMAX in play. We'll have 310 damage on both Dragapults to heal with Cheryl. So we can heal a lot of the damage if we can get another Dragapult in play. So do this. Boom at the Gengar. Bench Ghastly. Take that damage and we'll just put some of it on both Dragapults, I guess. I don't think it really matters. I don't think they play... Well, they could use Mew to KO Gengar. We should... We should, we should make sure we're not in range again and KO by anything. Put one there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll diverse the energy out a little bit. We'll take one off of Gengar. So that we can't get knocked out by Mew. Just Max Phantom. Not a lot of damage. Yeah, 70 damage. Insane. This is where our wing con is. We have to knock out the Pokemon on the bench. If 170 HP left, that's why I got boss back. Because it looks like we have to win by killing their bench Pokemon. This Corbin Knight's going to be a little tough to knock out. It's a bit of a healing war. We'll see which player can come out on top with the heals. We'll see how many Cheryl's my opponent plays. They might play Malolana too, which is something we got to watch out for. Yep, research. Okay. okay they have, they're out of Zacian now. That's pretty good. 
we can Marty them next turn. They could have put a Zam, a Zenta in play. What are the chances they play a Zam? If they play a Zam, uh, we might just be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Zam would be really bad. I think my next max Phantom is going to go towards the Mew, potentially. Yeah, they have to go Zacian here. Zacian, uh, Zacian won't get knocked out. It'll survive. Then we get max Phantom for later. We need to get a Cheryl, though. If we don't find a Cheryl, we're probably going to lose this drag up. We're going to put more energy in play next turn, I think. We have to build up another Pult. Okay, they take the 20 from the Horror. 150 HP. Yeah, no way to knock him out. That ain't a Cheryl. Andy the Gengar. We could scoop at the other Gengar. I think at this point, we kind of have to. I have to scoop up net this guy. That's fine. No, scoop at the Gengar. Could get Mewtwo. Nah. Rebench Ghastly. But was that the load? I guess we'll just put damage on this guy, but we'll stay out of range of Mew. And then we Marnie them and pray they don't have a Cheryl off that Marnie to heal Corviknight. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if they heal Corviknight. I don't know. We'll see. We could boss this turn. We can't kill... Yeah, we can't knock out Bronzong. We should maybe put damage on Bronzong, we... but I don't know if I want to do that, because of course Marnie... Or Cheryl. Cheryl would heal the Bronzong, so I don't know, actually, if I like that. Still have two candies left. Here we go. Keep moving the damage. Keep dra We could also just leave Dragapult with, like, 2-4 HP left, and I can't get one-shot by anything. You know, I kind of like that, too. Let's wait to prize those VMAXs, though. That's a sucky thing. Two four. So you have to take one more damage off. Put that on Ghastly. How much HP? 270? But one on Ghastly. That just put him in range again. He knocked by Mew. But if, if Ghastly gets knocked out, so this one's knocked out, we are able to get Haunter in play. So we'll Marnie here. Marnie and Prey. Still no Cheryl. Where are you at, Cheryl? Where are you at, girl? I need you. Uh, the only way they can knock me out is they play Rusted Sword. So Max Phantom. Five on the Mew. Maybe I should have Luke Metal, actually. Nah, I want to I wanna be able to knock out Mew. Probably they don't have a heal this turn. This is bad, though. We need to find Cheryl. We are just unable to find our Cheryls right now, which is not good because we're unable to heal 310 damage. We need to find Cheryl ASAP. We probably, imagine if they played a goon. If they have a, if they knock out my Dragapult this turn, we, well, not, it's not the end of the world, but it would be pretty bad. I doubt they have a way to do 10 damage to my active. Yeah, they failed a quick ball. Oh, they scoop! Dragapult Gengar, it did my opponent in. And they gave up. So I guess we have the most healing after all. Look at that. Um, let's... I want to see their deck real quick. How many Cheryl did they play? I'm very curious to see. They had Malolana. Only one... Okay, no. Two Cheryls. Two Cheryl and a Malolana. All right. We dodged a bullet there with those healings. But anyways, I think I'm going to have that HP you guys on the Dragapult Gengar deck. I think you guys get the gist. I do have some packs I can open up here. Got three Battle Styles packs I got off the ladder. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool deck. I think um, this deck gets a lot stronger with life. Uh, what's it called? Hold on, I got the card right here. I forget what the card's called. The new item card that searches out psychic Pokemon. I have it. I forget what it's called, though. Hold on, guys. Let's just open this pack, and then I can see what the card's called. Yo, Urshifu? I haven't... I actually... I've opened up so many battle styles, probably over, like, 100 or 200, and I have not pulled the thing. Yeah, Fog Crystal. Fog Crystal, I think, gives this deck a massive buff. Double Mr. Rhyme. That's a troll. Yeah, Fog Crystal makes this deck a lot stronger. All right. I have opened up so... Probably, like, 400-plus packs. Can I get... A alternate or Urshifu. I do not. I get. I don't even get a V. There you go. Right. Anyways, that'll be up for the video, guys, on the Dragapult Gengar deck. A lot of fun to play. Again, being able to just constantly heal is really cool. The only change I'd make to it is maybe just add more Serral. I want to add more draw to the deck, too. That was one thing that kind of hurt us, was just sometimes we just weren't drawing very well. I don't know what else you could do to improve the deck. You don't want to play too many Dedenne or Crobat because they're liabilities. You could play Oracorio, but, like, you don't get much value out of it because if the whole point of your deck is to deny your opponent knockouts, then what value do you get of Oracorio? Even though I know it's a psychic Pokemon. I don't know, but Oracorio, can Oracorio can't be healed. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Check out Card Cabin down below. Use code LDF to get any codes over there. Uh, of course, when Chilling Rain goes live, uh, make sure you get your Chilling Rain codes at Card Cabin for the cheapest anywhere. And, uh, yeah, check out my socials. 
subscribe if you're new to the channel help me the road to reaching 17k subs peace out